Hey Bentliff and Middle School students, Mrs. Kirkland here coming to you with some more tips on how you can take care of yourself during this time at home. If you remember last week, I talked to you about how to take care of yourself in four areas of your life. Your spiritual well-being, your relational well-being, your mental emotional well-being, and your physical well-being. And that's what we're going to talk about this week. Like last week, I'm going to ask you to take out a card and divide it into four squares. No need to draw these drawings. These are just here to help um, jog our memory on what each square represents. The first square represents your spiritual well-being. Last week, we talked a little bit about finding a verse or something from Scripture about who God is to put out there to encourage you and remind you of God's goodness. This week, I'm going to encourage you to set a goal on how you can become involved with your church. Now is not a time to pull away from your church. It's a time to go toward your church to see how you can be involved. Whether it's watching services online, whether it's being a part of a, a youth group that's meeting virtually, whether it's creating um, phone calls or whatnot with friends in your youth group, this week find a way that you can become involved with the people at your church. Um, you need that encouragement and you know they need that encouragement from you. So that's a goal I'd like for you to set this week in regard to your spiritual well-being. If we move along and look at um, our relational well-being, the goal I'd like for you to think about this week, it might sound cheesy at first, but actually it, there's a lot of validity to it. And that is to find a way to give some hugs away to people in your household. We, are, we need to, to socially distance and, and hopefully everyone is doing that. But within our household, if everyone is healthy, um, find a way to get a high five, a pat on the back, a hug, something of that nature, because what that does in us is it actually promotes within us a sense of connectedness and well-being. You can even do that with petting your animals, um, playing with your dog, your cat, whatnot, something that you can um, experience physical touch with. I um, also want to take a look at your um, mental well-being. This is your thought life. Um, I know um, I've spoken with some people and certainly have seen it. Um, that there can be a preoccupation with um, what, every, what is going on with the virus. And we need some breaks. We need some mental breaks. Um, one way to do a mental break with that is to join in this drawing challenge. Some of you may have seen that, but basically it's step-by-step. -step. Drawings are very simple things. Um, and it's a good way to get a laugh in because if you're like me, your drawing won't turn out quite as good as the one that um, is I'm looking at. But it's step by step and it's a way to give yourself a mental break, a way to just take a relaxer from thinking through homework or being bored at home if you're bored at home or like I said, worrisome thoughts. So that's a way that you can take care of your mental well-being is to find something creative to do that can give yourself a little bit of a break. I also want to talk to you about how to take care of yourself physically. And my goal for you this week is to open the blinds. Let the sunlight pour in. That's one reason I'm sitting in front of the window right now is because I want that sunlight pouring in. I try to get outside, let the sun shine over me. What this does for you guys is very good. It promotes a lot within your body that's going to help you feel actually better. So resist the temptation to stay inside or stay in a dark room or whatnot. Get out, get some sunshine. If you can add some movement and exercise to that, even better. All right, so that's four tips in the four areas that you can take care of yourself. Like I said, you can come up with as many um, ideas as you want. That's a way to take care of all of you. In Genesis chapter one, God tells mankind to take care of creation, and that includes all of creation. That includes the pinnacle of creation, which is people, taking care of ourselves. And when we take care of ourselves, we're glorifying God and we're readying ourselves to be people who can bring the message of the hope of the gospel to the world. And so taking care of ourselves is not just about us feeling good. It's so much bigger than that. It's about glorifying God. It's about doing what we can to ready ourselves, like I said, to be messengers of hope. And that gets me so excited. And um, I love being able to help you guys um, in this way. I'm here for y'all. If you need me, please email me. We can set up a phone call time or we can talk over email if there's any way that I can be of help to you. But until next time, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.